<laughs> Welcome once again to another episode of the Throne of Angels video blog. As always, I am your host, Derek Osborne. Today, here to show you a world of cleaning products. <laughs> so, fresh off of Adapticon, well, not really fresh because I went on a, a small vacation afterwards, but uh, we are taking a look today at the Badger Airbrush Cleaning System. It's a fantastic little box full of super awesome stuff. Now, this is a simple prelude to a new series that I have coming up with uh, my buddy and uh, friend, Crystal Brush Winning Painter, Caleb Weisenbach. We are going to do a series on airbrushing, sponsored by Badger Airbrush as well as Reaper Paint. So, really, really looking forward to uh, kind of breaking things down with, with Caleb. But we're going to start out by taking a quick look at how to take care of your airbrush with Badger's Airbrush Cleaning Kit. We'll take a look right now. The complete airbrush maintenance kit. As you can see, it's a fairly large box. I've also got my Patriot 105 here. Uh, just to kind of show you how some of these parts will work after we open this box up. Now, I'm one of those guys that I learned early on, um, and this is after repeated beatings or, you know, discussions from my grandfather and my dad. If you take care of your tools, your tools will take care of you. So as you can see, my, my Patriot 105, I put paint through this, this brush probably twice, maybe three times a week. The only places that I really have trouble getting clean are down there in the bottom of the cup, because I won't use I won't use pipe cleaners. I won't use uh, any type of brush. Basically, I will only clean it out with uh, soft tissue um, or Q-tips. And the reason being is I don't want to scratch anything in there, uh, and I sure don't want to scratch anything uh, obviously in here. And it's not focusing on the brush tip very well. But so. My, my airbrush, as long as I keep it really, really clean, and I am, uh, again, really uh, fastidious about keeping it clean, I, I break it down typically once a week uh, and clean it out uh, fairly well. Well, I've been really excited for this because this gives me um, more tools than what I currently have. So let's, let's break it open and take a look. What I've done here is I've just taken out the contents of the box and put them in front of the camera. This is my current camera setup. That box obviously fills the whole frame. So what you get is you get a tray with a bunch of stuff that has been shrink wrapped as well as uh, a sheet with your contents and then uh, either uh, base instructions on how to use what's in the, or in the kit, double sided, full color, just so you can, you can actually see uh, exactly what's in the kit and how each of the tools is used. So we'll, uh, we'll take a quick look at what is in here. So we've got a parts tray, right? They call it the disassembly tray. We have our multi-purpose cleaning media. We have our uh, reg dab, which is just badger spelled backwards. This is needle juice. You put this on before you spray and it, uh, it really helps with dry tip. I use it every time I spray. We have our cleaning pads and our magnifying lens in there. We do have a pair of small parts holding tubs that do have things in them. We have uh, different cleaning apparatuses. Well, let's just go ahead and take those out. Okay, so I open the bag and we have multiple cleaning tools in here. Uh, they call these the precision point cleaning swabs. And then we've got the crevice applicator, uh, which effectively is just just allows us to get our, our multi-purpose cleaning media into the nooks and crannies of the airbrush right so we're looking at, uh, at getting cleaning uh, fluid down into these little crevices that I can't get with a standard or normal uh, q-tip type thing and then we also have uh, what they call the micro and the fine crevice tools which if I can pick them up with my fat fingers are <clears throat> as you can see little teeny tiny brushes that are built to get into the smallest places, right? So when you re remove your needle tip uh, and whatnot, getting inside of there. We've also got um, our, uh, what do they call this? This is a needle deburring file. <clears throat> so if we've ever had a problem with a bent needle, 
This is part of the process of getting that needle back to straight. We also have two little storage cups with have some things in them. Uh, we've got thread sealant, which is used to seal certain parts of the airbrush when we take it apart. Uh, and then we also have uh, another nozzle cap. I keep my nozzle caps for two reasons. One, um, it helps in actually removing the nozzle, right? So you get that on there and you can loosen up and take the nozzle off uh, much easier than you can by trying to twist that thing off with, with just your fingers. Plus it also, I use it uh, as... Um, or I use it to protect my tip uh, when I store my airbrush. And so in this other one we've got uh, basically a, a nice piece of fine grit sandpaper to polish the, uh, the needle. We have a couple of o-rings uh, for rebuilds and then we also have another uh, cleaning sponge, double-sided cleaning sponge for um, basically taking care of the tip of our airbrush as well. Allen wrench in there uh, for the uh, brushes that do need an Allen wrench and then obviously small part storage trays and the standard uh, disassembly tray itself. Pretty much everything that we need to get a nice clean finish uh, from our airbrush. You know, Like I said, uh, I, I tend to really break mine down and, and clean it uh, very well usually once a week. I do it towards the end of the week because I know Mondays and Tuesdays, I typically don't do a whole lot of airbrushing. I start in Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and, and we'll you know spend a decent amount of time throwing paint on Saturdays as well. So I do my best to keep my airbrush really clean, really clean, really clean. Um, my, my 105 is my workhorse. I do have a chrome and a SOTAR as well. Uh, my, my chrome I use typically for finer details. My SOTAR, uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't use that brush a whole lot because um, it's got a really small cup size and it's uh, you know one of those things that quite honestly still intimidates me a little because I don't think my airbrushing skills are really up to par to take advantage of uh, what that airbrush can do for me. So uh, it, it sits and looks pretty on my shelf. Uh, however, as you can see, we have a full uh, box full of goodness for cleaning our airbrushes. And quite honestly, this is, this is brand new from Badger. I've been waiting for a while for something like this, and I'm really excited the fact that it's out now. So you can pick it up at the website uh, or webairbrushes.com. Use the uh, coupon code consortium for a nice little uh, coupon discount. Uh, otherwise, you get a badger, uh, badger.com as well. So uh, I'll throw the links below. If you have any questions, comments, obviously, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next round. Ha, 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 ha.